Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Mark Jeffrey Presents, 25th of February 2023 and what better day to have the International Bivy Bag Day. So I'm going to get the gang together, that we are going to head on over to a wild camp in the woodlands, a bivy stroke tarp wild camp. See you in there. How are we doing, Stu? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, good, mate. <laughs> Wait, what, what, what setup are you doing for tonight, then, mate? Uh, I am bivy and tarp today. Um, I was going to bring my hammock, but I thought, no, I'll, I'll go full bivy. So, cool. It's working last time, and I'm right where you are. You can ask like last time. So, nice little spot. Cool. What are you doing then? Where, where are you thinking of camping, mate? Just down here. You're going to go yeah. just down in the pit? Yeah. Tarp right at the top. Let the water leak through. Right, sounds good, man. Yeah. Sounds good. Liam, how are we doing? Good, mate, where are you going to camp to tonight? Somewhere here, mate. Just yeah. having a little look around. Cool, cool. Well, we're going to get this stuff put up now and I'll get back to you a little bit later on. So there we go. Tarp all set up. Booty. Got me OEX bivy bag with my Rab Scent 1100 in there. Um, got the old... Firmares silver mat underneath and the Firmares um, mat that I can't remember what the heck it's called. Very professional, isn't it? There's going to be food and stuff like that, but we are all set up next to the river. Stu's getting the fire set up. He's got his brown top over there. Georgie boy's over there. And Liam, I don't know if you can see him, is right in the background there, setting his bivy up. So we've got a nice little setting here, right next to the river. There's a train track up there. But um, no, nice good little setup. <laughs> so we're actually doing this, this bivy camp then. What's, what, what is the actual code, Stu? Uh, save Dartmoor. Save Dartmoor. And like this is the this is the second year that we've done this. Last time last time we've done it, me and George was where do we go, George? Down by Corsands, wasn't it? Down on the coast. Down Penley Point, right? Penley Point. What what I can't understand though, right, is that it's ideal, it's great doing this bivy camping, but why don't they do it in the middle of the summer? Why do they leave it to like the coldest week of the year? Um, which is nice. Cool, man. It's my horse window up now. Yeah, yeah. Left a trail to your bag. <laughs> That's pretty awesome, isn't it? Mm. Is it a brand new one or is it vintage? Um, it's one of the new ones. It just yeah. looks vintage. Right. The bronze, I think it is. Mm. Oh. <laughs> you want to warm up, take about three hours to get it off the It is like, um, it is like the Blair Witch Project here, to be honest with you, isn't it? I've never, a I've never actually seen the film Blair Witch Project, but if I wake up in the morning and there's a pile of stones beside me tent, I'm done, Lynn! Let's have a walk around here. Stews. Oh! <laughs> you just say Jews. <laughs> There's Stu oh, under, no. his, under his the fire? tarp. Hello. Let's get over and have a look at Liam's effort. Yeah. There's the 
basher. It's a bit difficult to try and show you where what's going on here in the light, to be honest with you. There's George's effort. 10 out of 10 for George. Room for improvement. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the best one over here, of course. Come on, little set up like life. Buddy. Anyway, in a minute, I'm going to cook myself a stir fry. Mm. That's a handy old He's he's <laughs> good, but <laughs> old Stu, <laughs> Stu's good with a small chopper in his hand. Yeah, no, it's a well placed uh, yeah, chop block. It was on Amazon, that, and I I saw it, and I had to buy it. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the life of a grammar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're cooking a. <laughs> we're cooking a stir, a vegetable stir. It's the Cornish version of stir fry on a fire, but we haven't got any fry, as in, what is it, oil? So it's just called a stir. Be with you back later. Cheers and gone. Uh, uh, but it's like their ideal funeral. Like their you know, it's, some of the shit they come out with is just like wacky, but yeah, it's really good. Down, let's go. Down, down, down for that. Right, mate, we're all in our bivvies. Um, We've had a great night. It's been awesome. Sat around the fire, um, cooked myself a stir fry, and um, had a good old chat. Had a few non-alcoholic beers. Um, got freaked out a little bit by strange lights from the distance. Couldn't really work out whether it was a house or not. But um, I'm just going to have the last one of my foxes white. Um, chocolate cookies and then I am hitting the hay it's about 10 past 12 and um, it's not too cold it is cold in the sense that we've been by a fire for hours and like it's that first initial getting in your sleeping bag but once you're in you're in and it's a lot warmer kind of thing so I'm gonna hunker on down and um, see you in the morrow Good morning. I'm trying to talk a little bit quiet so that I don't wake everybody else up, but it's about half past six. Um, it was a good night. I didn't sleep great. I never really do when I wild camp, to be honest with you. It's always a stop start affair waking up in the night, but um, it was a good night underneath the tarp here beside a river. I don't know if you can see in the background there the river. Um, it is a really, really nice spot. So thank you for Stu for recommending this little spot. Um, I didn't do as much recording last night as what I would like to have done. I was going to show you me cooking my stir fry and a lot more around the fire and a lot more banter and all that sort of stuff. But when you're down the woods or when you're on a wild camp with your friends and you ping a camera up and stuff like that, it kind of takes the the moment away if you know what I mean so I've done the best I can to share this bivvy camp with you like I said last year me and George done a camp down at Rainhead on the coast this year something totally different in the woods it is my first tarp camp in the woods and the whole purpose of this is just being out in nature in a bivvy bag you're not allowed to be in a tent you're not allowed to have tent poles or anything like that but you are allowed to have a shelter without tent poles, hence the reason why we 
put the tarps up and done a wild camp in the woods. So um, it has been a really, really nice night. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Didn't get that cold, to be honest with you. I mean, admittedly, I am in my rab a sent 1100 sleeping bag. I could be in the North Pole and I wouldn't feel the cold. But um, it was a nice, enjoyable, warm night. Got my Firmarest fluffy pillow, as Wild Bear would say. It is a game changer, this pillow. My mushroom pillow. Um, it is an absolute brilliant pillow. Fully recommend them. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get the old Trangia stove out and I'm going to make myself a hot chocolate, I think. So, be back in a bit. people I was going to um, make a coffee but we've decided that we are going to go and have a nice breakfast so um, we're ready to go good camp boys lovely yeah. enjoy yourself yeah, thank you. how was your pillow that I gave you George brilliant thanks mate yeah it was the, the trekology like is it what, what do they call it is a trekology a luff pillow yeah, it's good, mate. Good. Sleep well, Liam? Very well. How was it like in the basher? Nice and warm. Yeah, cool. Was, mate. Sweet, really? sweet. Stu's still packing up here, look. As always. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> good, good night. Did you enjoy it? Uh, yeah, a bit, bit chilly at times. Woke up a couple of times, but yeah, it was alright. Nice with the water and wake up to the birds. So. Cool. Are you putting anything up on your YouTube channel for this camp? <laughs> no? I doubt it. I, I didn't really feel much last night anyway. So. LNT Kernos, guys, just in case you. Um, yeah. If you haven't seen this stuff before. Yeah, I need to get back on the moors soon. I think. Get on the moors I'll soon. Get on the moors soon. That's, can. that's the way. Too busy with work, really. To do anything properly. We've got a life, mate. We've got a life. Yeah. So we've just got the fire to sort out here now. That's the remains, and then jobs are good in. We are done. Most important thing about any camp, no matter where you're going, is leave no trace. And all you can see here is one big fat butt imprint in the floor jobs are good in. Well it's a bit fucking weird but that is an awesome tree. Can't be a bit of wood can you Stu? Eh? Can't be a bit of wood. Can't be a bit of wood. <laughs> what a beautiful morning. I'll tell you what I have got to get, Stu. It's one of those... <laughs> it's, I've got to get one of those um, thermometers. Those yeah. night thermometers, so yeah. you know what the temperature is. Because that's what a thermometer does, see? It tells the temperature, so you know what the temperature is. There we are people, all back home, safe and sound. Um, just after we went to the tavern in Liscard and had a lovely um, full, bre full English breakfast, vegetarian one, because I'm a veggie. It was really, really nice. Um, thank you very much for, to Stu and George and Liam for joining me on this wild camp. I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. If you did and you've not watched this channel before and you like what you saw, 
please consider liking and subscribing and, and sharing this lot. There's going to be more and more wild camps coming very, very soon. Like I said, this was a special Bivy, um, International Bivy Day Challenge 2023. And um, thoroughly enjoyed it. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I forgot to put the... We, we're supposed to hold a sign up in the actual camp. This year's code was Save Dartmoor, I think. So um, I'm going to put down here now save Dartmoor and um, that was it International Bivy Day 2023 I hope you enjoyed it look after yourselves and until next time stay safe and stay classy